I'm gonna show you how to turn this vintage blanket into a one-of-a-kind blanket coat. I have a pattern you can use. You can also use your own pattern, but here's how I do it. The first step is gonna be to pin the front of the coat onto the back part of the coat, then sew them together. Then it's time for the pockets. So one will be shorter than the other and you want the longer pocket to go on the back of the coat and the shorter pocket to go on the top. I pin the pocket that goes to the back of the coat first. Once I do that, I line the, the pocket that attaches to the front just to line it up to make it perfect. And you'll see that I'm just pinning that together as well. Then I sew the bottom pocket and you'll see I slip a ruler underneath to make sure I don't grab the blanket from underneath. The visuals on the different way that I sew these pockets together is really important. So you'll see that this is the top. This is the front of the coat. So they're being sewn in differently. Then you sew the side seam from the pocket up to the armpit. Then you'll do the blanket stitch from one slit to the other, only on the back of the coat. Then it's time to sew the side seam down. And then once you get to the slit, then you open it up and just do around the entire coat and go all the way to the other side, to the other pocket. A crucial part about this, since there's gonna be a lapel, is you're gonna be mindful of your stitching because you don't want there to be knots on the part that's gonna be folded out. Once the side seams are sewn, you can then sew the pockets together. Time for the sleeves. Okay, so we do the top part of the two-piece sleeve on top. Pin it, then sew it. Time for the other seam. This one's a little bit trickier. The ruler is gonna come in handy. So you wanna put them together and then pin. Again, the top part of the sleeve seam goes on top of the bottom part of the seam. So you'll see that I'm gonna put the ruler in where the seam lines up and pin it together. And this is again, so you don't catch the other part of the seam, the sleeve while you're sewing it together. This is literally the best trick of all time and I use it out all the time. After the sleeve is assembled, you can then do the hem of the sleeve. Time to insert the sleeve. Okay, so what I do is I fold it in half and I find the middle point between the seams and I line that up with the shoulder seam. You're gonna wanna really secure the sleeve because there's gonna be a lot of moving around in installing it. I'm using a ham to put underneath so that way I don't grab the coat from any other side. And I mean, this is basically like one of the hardest parts is inserting a sleeve in general, but you'll just have to like maneuver your way around it and you know, be gentle with yourself and go slowly. All right, another tricky part. Ugh. Okay, so you'll wanna, when you line up the collar on the back, you'll want it to be face up. So the way that you want to see the collar. And when you pin it on, you wanna pin it so it basically just covers that blanket stitch. So that should be about a half inch. Then I double check to make sure everything lines up. So you wanna pull it together to kind of see what it will look like once it's folded down to make sure the patterns line up properly. Where you start is really important. Also, you wanna have the longest amount of yarn. So you'll see I start at the shoulder seam and then go out. And this is just to make sure you have one continuous uh, piece of yarn so that way you don't have to have a knot in an unsightly area. For the belt loop holes, I just do a tinier version of the blanket stitch and just you'll see how I just kind of go around the whole one side and then once I get to the other edge, I kind of just cross over. So then you cross over and do the same that you did on the first side. And then when you get down to the end, you can see that I go over and uh, put the, the yarn through the other side to secure. Time to iron down the collar and lapel. So having a ham is probably the best thing. If you're not, you can use um, like a rolled up uh, towel or something. But basically you just wanna make sure that you have that curved shape for the neckline so that way it's not flat. As you can see, I'm going around the edges and just kind of steaming it and then I'll sculpt it with my hands to cool it down. Then for the lapel, you can just iron it flat. I'm using a tailor's block to keep it down flat so when it cools, it will have a really nice crisp fold. When you're doing the belt, you wanna have as long of a yarn strand as you can handle because the least amount of knots that are exposed from starting and finishing a new yarn strand is ideal. 
then you get to put the belt through the belt loops and I have it be the, the design is so you don't see the back of the belt it's hidden but then you can cinch it in the front so you have a nice fit in the front and loose in the back and that's how you turn a blanket into a coat Whee!